Holla Peeps, it's your girl Sheree reporting live for Sheree TV. Now I'm doing my nail. A widely prescribed blood thinner, you may be at a higher risk for serious bleeding or heart attack. If you or a loved one have taken Pradaxa and suffered internal bleeding, gastrointestinal bleeding, kidney bleeding, brain hemorrhaging, heart attack, or death, call the Reliant Group. You may be entitled to a significant cash award. Don't be a victim. Get the help you deserve. Call the Reliant Group at 800-706-8011. <laughs> These are clear. Oh, that was Brittany Murphy that I'll never tell. Ooh. She was scary in that. So the question now is was she murdered, huh? Poison? Just a few clips from Brittany, Brittany Murphy's career. Today, new shocking allegations coming from her father, who says she was poisoned. And Murphy's father, Angela Bertolotti, and family friend Julia Davis are joining us now from Los Angeles. To the both of you, thank you so much. I know this is difficult. I'm sorry for your loss. Uh, we appreciate you being with us because this is really shocking to a lot of people, hearing that you believe that she was poisoned. Uh, Mr. Bodolotti, why do you believe that? Why, why do you think that she was poisoned? Well, I, it's very suspicious, and I read the reports on the, uh, on the toxicology reports, and uh, everything sounds very, very, very more or less uh, suspicious. And I feel she was poison. There's no question about that. And I feel she was murdered. Julia, was there something specific in those reports that you're talking about that leads you to believe that it was poison and not natural causes? Yes, from the very beginning, AJ always uh, believed that there was something very odd about breaking testing and then reviewing autopsy reports. We could see that there were multiple symptoms that, that would usually go with poisoning and then the test results confirmed that where the lab found the 10 heavy metals in very high quantities. So we do believe that, that it was poisoning and we would like to have it uh, properly investigated since the coroner never tested for poison originally. Well, that's pretty shocking. Angela, do you suspect somebody responsible for poisoning her? And who? Uh, well, I don't, I, uh, I don't suspect anyone, uh, actually. Uh, yeah, I do really, but I rather not speak about that. Uh, the question is, the fact is that she was poisoned and she was murdered, as far as I'm concerned. Angela, how about uh, her husband, uh, Simon? He died also very young age. Has any additional testing been done uh, to look at his death as well? There hasn't been any testing done yet, but we are in touch with Simon's mother, Linda, and uh, she very much wants to have his remains tested as well. It is our belief that Simon was also poisoned by the same means because both Simon and Brittany They're trying to blame the mom. identical symptoms, and uh, their deaths were definitely not natural. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's been years. They, they think that the guy died the same way. So they're saying by the same means. There's only three people in the house. So we really appreciate your time. You both take care. I want to bring in now Alan Duke. He's been reporting on this. Alan, these are shocking allegations. If this is true, have police been notified? And do you get any inclination that they're going to begin an investigation here? No, there's no chance, I believe, at all that the coroner is going to reopen this investigation. It would be up to the Los Angeles County coroner. And I can tell you, today I interviewed a forensic toxicologist who's one of the most prominent ones in the country. He looked at the report we provided to him today. He said it was ridiculous. He said it was baseless. 
He's uh, said that the way that the report was written uh, was irresponsible. Uh, and uh, he, basically, uh, any hair sample from someone such as Brittany Murphy would have those heavy metals in it, likely because of all the hair treatments that she had, the coloring and... and oh, yeah. Like that. And you cannot conclude that someone was poisoned, much less murdered, Drop my blue, killed uh, by one strand of hair. And in the autopsy, there were no signs of poisoning, according to the autopsy report. Uh, there are still telltale signs if it was involving poison that they would have seen, according to this toxicologist, he said they were not in the autopsy, so they are completely discounting this. And, of course, the family trying to explain what happened, the coincidence of the two deaths within five months, that is a difficult thing to accept. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it is. All right, Alan Duke reporting for us from Los Angeles. Alan, thanks so much for your perspective on it. All right, let's take it over to uh, Susan. Susan, we're talking about uh, Toronto Mayor Rob Ford, and we've been looking at his antics in the last 24 hours, his top four. Hey, um, babe, come look at Rob Ford. Ford. I said, wait for this. We have a lot of material here we're counting. They're probably going to go to a break first. Oh, it's 135. I got to hurry up. Y'all, I got to hurry up. Over that lady like gangbusters. Like bowled her over. Yeah, and that's what happened. Now, Rob Ford is going to be getting out of the Enya. I love Enya. Alright, you guys. I gotta go meet Cindy. We're gonna have lunch, and she's getting a copy of Love Lullaby for Ricky for his birthday. Happy birthday, Ricky. And don't forget, each copy sold, a portion of the proceeds going to charity, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. Anyway, you guys, I'll be back. In a little while. Love you guys. I'm going to eat some pancakes today. I'm going to sprinkle my Santa on them now. I love you guys.